exponential functions. Here is an extension to our previous question. A population of bacteria is found to remain constant for the first three days and then it starts to double every day for the next 20 days. When will this population cross 1 million, that is 1000, 1000, if the bacteria population is 100 on the first day? So we have five choices here. You should copy the question, pause the video, think about the solution and then look into my suggestions. Now, as the bacteria population remains same for the first three days, that means on day one it is 100, on day two it is 100, and on day three also it is 100. So this is on day one, right? This is on day two, and this is on day three. But on the fourth day, it doubles, so it becomes 200. And thereafter, it keeps doubling, so 400 and so on. So that is the kind of trend. Now to write down this equation, what we should do is, instead of starting from 1, it's better to start from 3. That means we can say number of bacteria is equals to the initial number on day 3, which is 100, times its doubling rate is given to us. Every day doubles, so d is 1, so it is t over t over 1. But what is t? That t in number of days will be n minus 3 because till the third day it doesn't double. So it is small n, the number of days minus 3. Well you can verify this formula. If you put n as 4 then you get 200. If you put n as 5 you do get 400. So the formula is perfectly correct. Now the question is when will this population cross 1 million? So we know n should be 1 million. So we have 1000, 1000 divided by 100 should be equal to 2 to the power of n minus 3. So at this stage, now we have 10,000, so 2 will cancel, equals to 2 to the power of n minus 3. Now at this stage, what you can do is, you can do trial and error, right? For some of those who don't know how to find with law, they can do trial and error. And for those who know how to use law, they can find Take logarithms on both sides and then you get what? You get n minus 3 equals to log of 10,000, right? Divided by log of 2. Right? So if you use calculator, what do you get here? Let's use and figure it out. So you get 13 point something, right? So you get this as 13 point something were just 2, 8, let us say 13.28 is n minus 3. So n is equals to 13.28 plus 3. That gives us 16 point, let's say 3, right? So that means more than 16. So on the day, it is 17th is your right answer. So that is how you can figure out. Otherwise, definitely, you can estimate, right, and get your answer. But that is how you can find solution to this kind of problem. I hope you found this set of questions interesting since most of the time we have been working with questions where the doubling or the exponential process starts from day one. But we can always shift it, right? And then there is slight difference which you see in the exponent form here. And that's a good application of exponential functions. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.